what is happening guys and welcome back to the channel where for today's video we're going to be checking out what may just be one of the final Transformers Rise of the Beast mainline figures, that being the Beast Battlemaster Air Razor. Now this figure as far as the UK release I think has pretty much been cancelled so trust the Karatomi to bring in the goods and it is a shame because she does seem to be the best in the entire wave. Now as we check out the packaging, banging CG render of Air Razor in her base mode, although to Karatomi are kind of underselling themselves because as you spin around to the back of the box it only showcases two out of her three modes. This is the first triple changing beast battlemaster to so far been released so it is kind of a shame that they do not showcase the shield mode but first, we're going to be taking a look at her in her base mode. Now, despite her being the smallest out of the entire lineup, I think she may just have the best base mode out of the bunch, which is kind of surprising considering, again, she is a triple changer. But the cybernetic details there to the beak, I think, is on point. The mechanical, mechanized wings look awesome. Check out all of those individual serrated edges. The color scheme does seem to be quite similar to both the mainline and the Studio Series figure. So, as a weapon, this should fit right in with... With both of those releases even the little tail has been so nicely detailed and as we flip her to the underside i find it really cool that despite her being one of the cheapest rise of the beast figures to date they have actually given her some screwed on gap fillers so it is just a really cool looking beast mode and it's a shame that we never saw more of these beast battle masters for the rise of the beast toy line but this is only one out of three modes so let's maximize her into the second one so to do this what you will do is take the beast legs and fold these up against the chest. Then we'll basically split her right down the middle, fold this piece here up, take the beast mode tail, and this will come over the top of her beast mode head, basically locking that there into place. You'll then take the beast wings, flip these back on themselves. So do the same here for this side, turn her to the underside, take this post, flip that out, and bang! There is Air Razor fully transformed, or should I say maximized, into her crossbow form. And it's a pretty decent looking blaster. Nice metallic silver up front, really awesome details here up top. It is just a really nicely done battle master. And to show you guys how she looks equipped with herself, really awesome. Definitely quite a convincing crossbow, and it's also blast effect compatible, which I think is great. I've said it time and time again, I think out of all of the gimmicky figures for this line, the Beast Battle Masters by far were the most appealing to collectors as they can be used to weaponize some of the deluxe voyages and leaders. So yeah, this looks brilliant. But as I mentioned, she is a triple changer. So let's now get stuck into the third and final mode. So for this, you're going to want to take her wings and fold them forwards and then begin to hinge them up. So do the same here for this side, flip it forwards and then hinge it up. There are two tabs on either side, which will clip directly down the middle. The next step is to then take this whole section and fold it against the wings. So these tabs are going to slide into those slots. So snap that into place, fold this post down and bang, there she is maximized into the third form. So it's kind of a hybrid between a blaster and a shield and I think this is great you know as I said the first triple changing beast battle master this is a really sweet touch pretty decent details it would have been even better had you been able to combine this with another air razor to really complete the shield had we had this on the other end that would have looked brilliant but yeah as it stands definitely a very convincing looking shield and what I like the most about the way this has been engineered is it does now have a brand new post, meaning that it can be attached onto the arm like this, or if you wanted it to sit slightly more flush against the body, you could have her protecting a good part of her robot mode design. So that is really cool. And again, it's blast effect compatible. So she can be firing away at the Predacons and the Terracons and at the same time be shielding herself from enemy blasts. And then finally, here she is stacked up alongside some other Beast Battle Masters, which actually made an appearance in the Rise of the Beast movie. So we have Optimus Primal, Air Razor, Cheetor, and Rhinox. They're looking awesome. I wouldn't mind seeing a repaint of Optimus Primal into an Ape Link. That also would be really sick. And just as a quick bonus, here she is alongside Skull Cruncher, who up until now, I think had the best beast mode out of all of these battle masters. And I remember the very first time that I reviewed Skull Cruncher, I was super hyped at the possibility of seeing him in the movie. It's such a shame that he turned out to be a figure only character, as I think it would have been awesome had he showed up in the final battle to face off against the Maximals. 
And so, wrapping up on this review for the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Beast Battle Master, Air Razor. I definitely think she is by far one of the best in the entire Beast Battle Master assortment, and it really does suck that she has come out in the final wave, which really doesn't tend to get picked up by most retailers. It would have been cool had maybe the shield been able to combine with a second version so that we could have had a complete shield, but as it stands, a really fun and enjoyable figure, and if you can find her at retail or close to retail, price then I would definitely recommend to check her out although do not pay anything above retail as it's a tiny little figure and it's only a beast battle master so you're not missing out on too much if you can't track her down I'd love to get your thoughts on this release down in the comment section below and until my next review I thank you all so much for watching transform and roll out